Hare Krishna and welcome my dear friends to this sacred space where we embark on a journey of spiritual enrichment and inspiration. I am deeply honored to have you join me today as we delve into the timeless pages of one of our authored books to recite a beautiful spiritual pastime. Within the pages of this book lies a tapestry of stories, a tapestry woven with the threads of devotion, wisdom and love. The pastime I am about to share holds a special place in my heart and I believe it has the power to touch yours as well. As the words flow from the lips, let them be a bridge that connects us beyond the physical realm, transcending time and space. Let's remember that these stories are not just tales of the past, but living embodiments of eternal truths that resonate even today. Hare Krishna. Hans was afraid that the child destined to kill him was already born. Hence he instructed Putna, a witch, to kill all children in nearby areas. According to Brahma Vaivarta Puran, Putna was Kansa's sister. Putna was an expert in black arts and had a reputation for killing children. Such witches are known as Khetri as they can fly in the sky. Accordingly, Putna entered Nanda Bhavan to kill Krishna, who was just a few days old. She appeared very beautiful and donned a smiling face. She blended with the other women. When she saw Krishna, she could understand that the child was not ordinary and possessed unlimited powers. Putna, who had smeared her breasts with a powerful poison, came close offering her milk to Krishna. Krishna knew that the woman had come to kill him. He quickly began sucking her milk and in the process sucked out her life hair as well. The witch shuddered in pain and soon fell dead. As she died, the whole world began shaking. She assumed her gigantic demoniac form that was more than 12 miles in length. Although Putna came with evil intentions, she was delivered as she was killed by Krishna, the Supreme Lord. She came to give poison, but Krishna accepted her actions as motherly. Hence she became purified and attained liberation from material existence. In her previous life, Putna was Ratnamala, one of the daughters of Pali Maharaj. On seeing Lord Vamna Dev, she desired to become his mother. The Supreme Lord who knows everyone's mind obliged her request. Later she became enraged and bitter toward Lord Vamna Dev when he tied up Pali Maharaj. Hence she was born as Putna where she could act as Krishna's mother as well as harbor sinful desires of killing the Lord. Putna represents a bogus guru, spiritual master, who teaches beyond his realizations or teaches beyond the realization of his disciple. Such a guru is a bad spiritual guide who offers the suck of the poison breast that kills the purified cognition of the soul. The real guru is self-realized. The polluted mind also acts as a pseudo-guru by proposing all kinds of false arguments that hinder one's spiritual realization. 